you gonna have some troll call you out on YouTube? He said he won this boot and he's not wearing it. I'm Brandon Evans and this is Boot Bonanza. Oh, deer in the headlights. So the hunts I have this fall, I've got a limited entry Utah rifle elk tag in September. It's on the desert of Utah, uh, flatter country, not a ton of like vertical, you know, extreme type terrain. And then I've got an Idaho deer tag that uh, will be kind of that moderate mountain terrain, uh, more steep type terrain, um, you know, planning to hunt it mid October. And then I'm planning to go November in Colorado for mule deer as well. And that, that'll be kind of that late season, like mid mountain, lower type terrain. Um, so, so kind of a, a, you know, all three hunts are, are similar, uh, varying from mild terrain to, to steep mountain terrain. I do, I'm kind of the anomaly in the office. I love a stiff boot in, in any type of terrain. I, I run a boot that's a flex five in our rating system all the time. I wear them around the office. I, I wear them around the house doing yard work. Uh, I wear a stiff boot all the time, whether it's antelope hunting, elk hunting, you know, any of that. And so a lot of the boots that I pick are, are that stiffer range for, for any type of hunt. So that's, that's kind of what I like, you know, in, in my boots, that's, you know, what, what fits my style of hunting fits my, my feet and, and whatnot. So first boot. Um, it's not a new boot to our store, something that we've had for quite a while. I've actually, so I actually own three pairs of this, this exact boot. It's the Scarpa Charmois HD. Um, this is kind of going to be my benchmark for today. So this is a boot that I've, I've run for multiple years. Love it. Fits my foot. Had great luck with it. It is a lighter weight, full synthetic boot. A lot of the qualities that I look in, in a boot. And so, uh, this is going to be the first boot. It, it, like I say, it's stiff. This is a, a, what we call a flex five. I would say it's probably, you know, even, even higher than a lot of other flex fives that we have on there. Again, that boot is just one that fits my foot. Great. Going to kind of be the benchmark for today. Again, super stiff, uh, lightweight, full synthetic. Uh, I like say run it on all terrain. So some people make fun of it because it is fluorescent orange. But hey, if you're a rifle hunter, gotta have blaze orange anyway. Might as well have matching boots. Next up on the list is the Asolo Freni XT. Uh, it has a very similar profile to uh, the boot that I'm used to. Uh, is why I picked it, interested in it. New boot. I think they came out with pretty limited supply last year. So it's been on my radar for quite a while. Um, got it. All the, all the good specs. Lightweight boots, stiff boot, Flex 5 again. It's kind of, kind of in my wheelhouse. Um, colors are, you know, actually it's, it's not as bright of, of a boot as I thought it was looking at the pictures. So that's a, that's a positive in my opinion. So does have a, a pretty good lace system so it does have lace locks for that first set of, of eyelets there actually a very comfortable boot like that is might have a little bit more flex than than some of the other flex fives in there got a good roll to it actually a very comfortable boot that's stiff enough it's tall, about the same height. Might be a little bit taller than some of the other boots in the lineup. Uh, very comfortable boot. That fits. Not a lot of hill lift or anything. Nope, very comfortable boot. That one will be, that'll be a top contender for sure. Third boot in my lineup is the Scarpa Mescalito TRX GTX. It's a brand new boot this year they barely came out with. This is kind of the anomaly on my list right now. Um, I think this runs in like the, the flex three, flex four, kind of a mid. I would consider this more along the lines of like a, a hiker, light hiker versus a mountain, mountain boot that I typically run. It's intriguing because to me for, for the fact that Scarpa fits my foot really well. Their, their foot molds just tend to, to fit my foot profile real well. When they came out with this, 
especially given that I have that early season elk hunt in Utah, kind of the lower land, moderate terrain, um, it, it just struck me. Uh, it's, it, it's fairly lightweight. It is a suede. Um, I typically try and run a, a more full synthetic type boot. I don't think I'd have any issues with this boot shrinking or expanding with, with moisture, especially given the, the type of hunt that I would going to run on it, uh, run this boot with. So very different boot than I'm used to. Uh, I'm like, I say I'm used to more full, like mountain boot, stiff boot. This one flexes a ton. It, it's comfortable. Um, would take me some getting used to. It does have a little bit wider, what I would say a wider toe box, if you will. More of that reminds me, I don't know, not really anything out there that, that I've run that has that. It's comfortable. Um, yep, flexes a ton. It almost feels like the tennis shoes that I have. It's just kind of weird for me, but we'll see. It's very comfortable. I would say this runs a little, so I'm usually a 46 or a 12 in pretty much every boot out there. Uh, and this one runs just a touch big. Like I would maybe try, if they had like a 45 and a half, it might be in the wheelhouse on this one. So um, pretty comfortable boot though. We'll see, like I say, the flex on it is kind of throwing me off. The fourth boot in my lineup is the Zamberlin 2092 Mount Trex GTX. Again, not, this isn't a new boot for this year. It's something that Zamberlin's had um, for a couple years now. Uh, kind of a hybrid between two, two of their mountain boots. Uh, something that I've been really interested in for a couple years now. Um, so, uh, it has all the specs that I really like. It is a, a suede synthetic upper, super stiff. Again, Flex 5, something that I, that I love. Uh, Mid-height. Um, an Italian boot, Zamberlin Italian boot. Uh, so let's see what it's like. It does have a different tongue system. So something that I would, you know, I think anytime you can put adjustability into a boot, you can kind of tailor it to your, to fit real well. Um, so I think there's some neat, neat features in there. So let's give it a whirl. So one thing about this boot is I'm, I'm typically a 46 or a 12. Um, this is a half size smaller. We didn't have that. Uh, in my size thought i'd give it a whirl you can usually tell you know if a boot's just a touch small initial thoughts don't have it laced up yet uh, i'll smash the toe on the ground to see if if it is too short but as of right now it's it's pretty comfortable even in that kind of that half my half size uh smaller i do upsize um i've been burnt before with um jamming my toes into my boots with heavy pack going downhill for a lot of miles so i typically will upsize in about every boot that i get um so like my tennis shoes are an 11 and a half anytime i go to a mountain boot i usually go up to a 12 or a 46 but this boot is actually um pretty true to size so far so we'll lace it up and see what it's like it so that is a pretty stiff boot but it rolls really well um that's a even like that half size smaller i would I don't know if I'd upsize or not on that boot. That's a super comfortable boot. I did pull, so with the with what I was saying about the tongue, I did pull the tongue all the way out, which kind of drops a little bit of the volume in the top of the boot. Um, so when we do get a 12 in, I may check this boot um, with that volume kind of back down in the boot, the boot a little bit, just for that extra security I have in length, but that is a super comfortable boot. Stiff, like it, tall. Hmm. This is the Scarpa Kinesis Pro GTX. Uh, it's the only full leather boot in, in my lineup. I'm, I've got to admit, I'm not a full leather boot fan. I, I've, had them, I've had them in the past, I've run full leather boots. Uh, if you've ever experienced a full leather boot that you get soaking wet and you suck the laces so tight that they just pulls them together over time, um, you'll get burnt with them. Uh, full leather tends to shrink, uh, expand, just has, it, it's just a na natural, natural material. Whereas a synthetic, there's a little bit more control in it. Um, that's why I tend to lean that way. A lot of people do love full leather. You can condition them, you can t take good care of them. Um, probably a little bit more abrasive, resistant and tough. Uh, but the reason this is intriguing, this is a new boot. Um, 
It's got a great footbed in it. There's some qualities of this boot that I really like. It's not what I would consider a full flex five. It is a stiffer boot, um, probably in that three and a half, four, three and a half to four range, um, right in there. Uh, so we're gonna see what it's like. Stiffer than I would have thought. Not that it's a, a stiff boot, um, just stiffer than I would have experienced. Um, I can tell that the full leather is a touch heavier than the other boots that, that I've looked at. Flex is probably just a little bit more than that. It's kind of like the other Scarpa that I looked at, um, where it's just different, a different feel. Not a bad feel, just different than what I'm, I'm used to in a mountain boot. But, and this boot probably fits a touch larger than the other Scarpas, to be honest. So, comfortable. It does have a great lace system. So it's got little, instead of just a hard eyelet, it's got little rollers inside the laces, that allows you to cinch it pretty tight. Um, yeah, pretty comfortable. So we've gone through five boots again. Um, my, my kind of my gold standard, if you will, the Scarpa Charmois. I uh, went with the Asolo Frene, um, the new Mescalito from Scarpa, the Zamberlin 2092, um, and the Scarpa Kinesis Pro. The one that, after going through them all, the one that, that I'll... I'll probably actually be be experimenting a little bit more with and, and actually running this year uh, is gonna be the Zamberlin. Uh, I have not run Zamberlin in a long time, to be honest with you. Uh, but this boot kind of fits all the, all the needs that I have this year. Super comfortable, like right out of the box comfort. For a, for a stiff mountain boot, this boot really fits well. Um, even being like that half size small. What I'll do is I'll wait for a, for my size to come in. Uh, we should be getting more shortly. Wait for it. I'll, I'll test those between this one, which is an 11 and a half and a 12, and see ultimately which one fits the best. But this one by, by far checks all the boxes for me. Uh, gonna be a boot that I can run on the desert. Uh, gonna be a boot I can run clear into November in Colorado. So um, just, just a, a, like I say, for my foot profile, a very comfortable boot right out of the box um full rand a lot of just a lot of good features for this boot that i really like so if you guys have any questions about these boots um we'll have links to them below uh link you right to our gear shop uh they've got a, a lot of great information on those product pages uh you know always check out anytime you're looking at our boot we put a lot of time into our sizing guides uh videos how to measure your feet you know how to how to select the correct boot for you uh, so check that out if you have any questions or comments drop those below we'll get those answered Thanks for watching the Boot Bonanza with Brando.